Welcome to today's video. So for this video, I am going to be using some products that I haven't really used yet, or if I have used, I've used once or twice, um, weeks and weeks ago, months ago even. And I just thought I'd get them out, give them another try, um, because I've been back home, I've cleaned my room out, and I've come across loads of things that I haven't tried yet, so wanted to feature on here. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I got this look, and it is relatively kind of quick, it's not really in depth, it's not like a really long makeup look. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin, so I've just toned, moisturised and used an eye cream. So I'm going to go in with primer first. Um, so I'm going to use this one, I haven't tried this one before. Um, so it'll be good to try it. So this is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. And it's just the mini versions. You can obviously get a large one. It's like a clear gel. I've wanted to try this for ages. I'm a bit worried because my skin can get slightly oily. Um, so I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's more for dry skin. But um, I will see how it is. And at the minute, oh, at the minute, my skin is slightly dry um because it's just i think stress etc and it's just been a bit more dry so i thought today would be a good time to try it out feels really nice and cooling on the skin um but i'm hoping it will give like a nice dewy effect for foundation okay so this is what my skin looks like after the primer um, it feels nice and nourished and yeah, that's all I can say about it so far really. I'll know more when I put foundation on. Four foundations today, I've got one that I have used time and time again and I know I love. And then one that I used to use but it was way too dark for me and I had the wrong shade. So I purchased the right shade a few months back and I just haven't used it yet. This one is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This has SPF 15 in it. And I'm in the shade NW20, roughly. Sometimes it suits me better than others, so sometimes I mix it with another foundation. Um, but this is the other one I'm going to mix it with. So it's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And this is in the shade 128. So this is what they're looking like together. Um, I think the Maybelline on its own might be too light for me, but then at the minute I'm not tanned at all, so this could be too dark. So hopefully together they'll give a good... Um, colour my skin's been going through by quite a bad time at the minute um, I don't really I think it's been like stress and just changes and I don't really know but um, yeah it's not been the best so I um, have trying to, been trying to look after it a bit um, more intensely and hopefully it will return back to normal soon. So the I've got this sponge, so this is the Superdrug Own Beauty Blender. Now I love my own beauty blenders, um, like the original beauty blenders, you can't beat them for me. But I've had this for ages and thought I'd try it out and I haven't, I just used it once I think yesterday. And it is it pleasantly surprised me. It's not as kind of bouncy as the original Beauty Blender, but it's not like terrible. It, do, it does still blend. So I thought I'd use this one today because obviously it's a good alternative if you don't want to spend out for the original. I'm then going to go in with concealer, so I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C4. Now this is slightly more pink than I would like it, I'm more um, yellow toned, but this was the only shade that I could get at the time. Um, so I'm just going to keep using this one for now. For powder, I'm going to use this. Now, I bought this ages ago because I heard so many good things about it on YouTube. 
um, and I still haven't used it and I don't know why so I just found it and I was like I'm going to finally use this today so this is the um, Sephora powder um, and this is the smoothing and brightening powder so it's a translucent one um, and yeah it's meant to be really good so I'm going to try it I'm just going to use um, this brush um, this is just a brush that I got in like a collection um, and it's just like it's quite dense um, but I really like using it for pressed powders so I'm just going to use that one. I'm going to go on to bronzer now. I'm going to go in with a cream bronzer first. Um, and this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, so I use this. I bought this again a while ago. Um, the favourite thing about it is my is the smell. It literally smells like holiday, like suntan. It's all coconut. It's so nice. Um, I used this a little while ago, um, like literally once. And I did like it, but I just found it, I don't know, I think I just found it a bit faffy, if that makes sense. Um, so like to blend and stuff. But I'm going to give it another go today because I have heard amazing things and the smell is just gorgeous. So I'm actually going to take this um, Spectrum um, brush this is the B01 brush so that is the bronzer I'm just gonna like blend in here a little bit um with my sponge um I think like it does build up nicely I think it's one of those products you can't go in too harsh you need to just gradually build up because otherwise it just looks like a hot orange mess on your face um but yeah i do think it's nice i think it will be nice like with a tan um to kind of like give you that real glow um but yeah i do think it's nice it gives like a natural um look which is good and then for powder to go on top of that I'm going to use, now I got this one um, in, I bought this one when I was away, um, but you can get it on Amazon, I believe, this brand, um, and they actually do some really good um, bits, um, and yeah, they're on Amazon now, which is really good, because they are actually a really good and affordable brand, um, so this is the Wet and Wild Bronzer, um, again, had this for ages, haven't used it, but all the writings um come off because it was in my drawer um but i've had this for ages haven't really used it so this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer and this is in the shade ticket to brazil um so this is what it looks like inside so the only thing it does worry me i think it has a very slight shimmer and um, which i'm not a fan of in kind of bronzers but we'll give it a go because it might just be quite subtle um but yeah, so I'm just going to take my Eco Tools bronzer brush. I'm going to blend it up here slightly. Um, but I think they work quite nicely together. The only thing I would say is I think they are maybe more the powder. It's slightly more on like the ready side. If you like blend it out, then it's fine. Like it's not like really red. It doesn't look like orange, but it's um it's just not as cool toned. But I think it's fine, especially like as I say, if you're more tanned, I think it's fine. So I'm gonna spray my face with the Mac Fix Plus. This is in the coconut scent. This is my favourite thing at the minute. I've been loving it. And I love the scent of coconut, but also this Fix Plus is always a winner. So I'm just gonna spray this because I like doing that once I've used powder. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm literally going to be really quite simple, quick and easy as always. Um, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Memorise um, pot. And this is in the shade Bet. Now I um, bought this a little while ago. Um, not long ago, like two, three weeks ago. And I've only used it once, but I really liked it. It's like a moussey kind of creamy texture so I'm going to apply this to my eyes and literally you just apply it to your lids blend it a little bit and you're done 
So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do on my eyelids. Um, yeah, it just gives like a nice golden sheen to them. Um, and you just like blend it out and it dries down quite quickly. So it's nice and easy to work with. I'm going to go on to eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Micro Tattoo Brow Artist tip. It's got like little kind of it's meant to be like a blade, like a micro blade um, and give like the really natural effect. I have used this two or three times and I did like it it is nice so I'm just going to use it again today because it does, does give quite a natural brow um, but if you want a more harsh brow I don't think this would be for you because it isn't that pigmented I don't feel um, but it is still a nice product for a natural look Okay, so that's it for brows. I'm just going to brush them up and brush the product through and then apply some clear brow gel. This brow gel is, again, from Wet n Wild. You can get it on Amazon. And, and it's the Mega Clear Mascara, but I use it as a brow gel. I really like using this, and my brows are quite unruly. They go all over the place, um, but this does keep them in place. So I'm a fan of this one, and it's super affordable too. Okay, so then I'm just going to go on to lashes. So for lashes, I have two products I have been absolutely loving. They really do give you like the false kind of the length and volume of false lashes. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic range. Um, so this is the primer and this is the mascara. And they also have just brought out a waterproof one, which is great. Um, so I'm going to apply the primer first. It's just white um, and then it really conditions your lashes and gets them ready for mascara. Okay, so that's with the lash primer on and that's with the mascara, so it really does make them pop. Um, you can build it up and put more and more layers on to make them look longer, but today I'm just going to do like one because I think that's enough for me today. I'm just going to apply some blush, so I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. I love this one because it's more peachy and corally rather than really pink. Then I'm going to go in with highlighter. Um, so for highlighter, I'm going to use the new L'Oreal highlighting drops. Um, so these are the Glow Mon More highlighting drops and these are sparkling love. I um, used these a few weeks ago. And the Iconic London Illuminator drops are always, always my favourite. Nothing in my eyes will ever beat them for me. But these, do, these are good um, for a really natural glow. Um, and you can build them up to make them more intense and I was very impressed because for the price they're I think a third of the price of the Iconic London ones and they're not as intense but they are still a really good kind of second option um, so yeah it just comes with the pipette and then you can apply them as you would like so I like to apply them to my hand and then get them off of my hand with my sponge and then apply them because I just feel like if I put it on my hand it warms them up a bit more and makes them look a bit more natural sometimes they can be hard to blend otherwise but yeah I mean they do give a really nice glow but they're just not as intense as the Iconic London ones but that might not be for you you might prefer a more like toned down glow so then these would be perfect going to go in with powder highlight so i am using again the they're a new release from l'oreal and um everyone raved about them and i can see why because they are really good so this is the l'oreal crushed foil metallic highlighter 
and this is in the shade rose quartz um and yeah so this is what it looks like and it is i've got it in the golden shade as well um and it is very intense but it's really really good to give that glow and it's like a rose gold shade which i really like i'm just going to spray my brush just go in onto lips so i am going to use the mac lip liner in the shade strip down i spice is always my favorite i use it every single day but this is becoming a close second for me at the minute it's a it's lighter than spice but it's a really kind of classic nude and really nice for spring summer so i'm gonna apply this And then I'm just going to take this Sephora oil infusion um, colour. Um, as I say, this is from Sephora, but you can get ones very similar um, in the UK. So I this is in the shade Iced Coffee, and I love this one because it's like a nude, um, but it's got like a tinge of pink to it, and it just really looks nice over just lip liner um, to kind of give them a bit more of like a summery sheen. And the oil is really hydrating for the lips. okay so that is the lips done so finally i'm just gonna go over my face with the mac fix plus and um, just to set my makeup okay so this is the finished makeup look i hope you enjoyed watching if you did i would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you would like to see more from me i will also link my blog and my instagram and all things like that down below so you can check it out and see what things i'm loving day to day um so yeah this makeup look again wasn't using loads of different products um it, it is like relatively simple and it's just like a nice kind of introduction to kind of spring i think like it's quite it's not too heavy um, and obviously in spring you don't want really heavy makeup i am going to do another tutorial with kind of really natural and glow which has been like my go-to every day but i just wanted to do this one um just to kind of use some products that i haven't tried out yet um and just to yeah just to put it on my channel and see what it come out like i hope that you like it and i hope that you enjoyed watching